Think fast, Chuckle Nuts! <laughs> Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and think fast, it is the Night Witch. What is the Night Witch? From what I can tell from trailers and whatnot, it is a roguelite bullet hell kind of game. Of course, using, as you can tell right here, fey creatures as the source material. Anyway, this is the PC version of the game. PC version, PC options, not a whole lot to mess around with because it seems like it's mostly sprite based. If you are curious if this game is on your platform of choice, do check the description down below. And as we get in here, what is the Think Fast series? Basically, I sit down with the game for 15 to 45 minutes playing it as if I just opened it up from a physical package, giving you folks my thoughts on the game based on that time alone. All life could have ended 14 years ago. It almost did. I thought the I thought the game was gonna take over because it asked me what kind of language I wanted, probably just for text, but I still but hey, you never know. Even like the most minimalistic games nowadays have broad spectrum voice acting. For the first time in history, the whole world was unified under a single banner. The house of Dagadai. Dagadai? Words are hard. The Dagadai believed in technology, science, and progress. For a while, the future was bright. Then resources started to run low. In order to sustain our way of life, the Dagadai family did unspeakable things to the planet and its ecosystem. A rebel group. A rebel group. The children of Gaia appeared in response. The divine goal to save the planet at all costs. As the planet grew weaker, more and more people started to support them. But nothing mattered. All their efforts were in vain. Without trained soldiers or real we the wheel wheel weaponry, we real weaponry, there were no match against the Golem army of Dagadai. That is, of course, until the Night Witches awoke. They were real forces. Force <laughs> words. They were real forces of nature, heroes with the ability to fly, with strength of legend and magical powers that defied our wildest dreams. They drew power from people's trust. The more we believed in them, the stronger they'd become. Thanks to them, we could all be part of the fight. We simply had to believe in them with all our hearts and souls. They soon became the face of rebellion, a beacon of hope. The Dagadai trembled in fear against them. Everybody knew their names. Faruru, the Conjurer. Saikra, the Weapon Master. Irene, the Trickster. And the strongest of them all, their captain. Robin, the Angel of Destruction. This is the story of how the Night Witches ended the war. This is the story of the Battle of the Broken Sky. Story's over. I'm kidding. I'm just dying. I'm lost after everything's done. Finish the fight. Okay, now I'm just thumbing through it because I'm not going to try and attempt to voice act a lady character. That's not going to... Okay, so it is twin stick shooting. I have spell cards. I do have spell cards to use. So I'm assuming this is going to be probably some... <clears throat> I'm assuming that like uh, I'll have... I have a dash. Okay, I have a dash. Triggers do nothing. I'm also trying my best to dodge around stuff, because like, like I said at the start, bullet hell. Woo! That, okay. So it's got a system set up where if you take a hit, it's got a system set up where if you take a hit, it basically clears the, clears the room of bullets. Now I gotta wonder, because it is like, like I said, bullet hell, I gotta wonder like, if my hit boss is actually like my entire character model, or if it's like a specific portion of my character model. Because <clears throat> a lot of times with, with a bullet hell kind of game, your character's hitbox is like a very distinct color of part of your character that is a different color from the rest. Like, if I'm looking at this, in my head, what is the dis what, the thing that is the distinct different color that would be my hitbox is the blue crest on her hat. 
I think that would be her actual hitbox. But we don't know the rules yet. Hello. And you just conjure that out of thin air. Fantastic. All right, you are now on guard duty. Casting spells. Oh, smart bombs. Got it. So they gave me some of each just to try out things. Okay, defensive spell. Got it. Oh, I see. And the things at the bottom is basically what it costs for each one of those. Oh, or I get new ones every time I uh, cast. Okay. It's like a, it's a little bit like a deck builder. Got it. I like hand cannon. Hand cannon fun. Oh, big big cat. You can do this. I I I sincerely hope because it's going to be a real oh it's going to be a real sad day if you can't. Also, I love this spell. Just shoot through everything. Oh, I lost it. But what if I activated it again? Okay. So I kind of get it. Like, you destroy enemies, you get mana in order to cast spells. So you have a, an upper hand to so just raw, raw shoot. Listen. This... I feel like this is drawing a parallel to real world, the real world things that are going on. I'm gonna let that topic die right then and there, but uh, yeah. You're trying to blame, you're trying to blame them on your own greed. You know what? Nah. Erebus gotta, gotta, gotta go. He gotta go, man. I'm gonna press B. I'm gonna press B right here. Because I know I have a smart bomb on my B button. Bye! The, yep, that's a smart bomb. Sure. Although I can't help... But notice I'm a little low on uh, Mahoja. Now I'll draw. I'll draw some stuff from you. Hold that. I can hit you from behind this shield. Let me get some magic ball in here. Hold on. I don't know what I got here, but I'm casting everything. Hmm. Getting in to get my magic stores back. Maybe a problem. Oh boy. Yeah, this is pretty high octane. Uh. Woo. Okay, it's a two-way shield. Got it. Hang, Hannon. What do you mean by restart? Oh, from the start of the fight. Okay, so this is a this is a scripted story I have to beat. So, you know, I thought it was gonna be cool. I thought it was gonna be a cool guy. Now nah, I'll cast more spells. Hi, how's it going? Now, now I'll stand behind my shield and just shoot you. How's that sound? Okay. You're going to eat these swords. Now you're going to eat all this damage. Mm, damage. I will prepare this hand can. I'll, I have a combo I have ready for you if you decide to shoot off a lot of a lot of things in a rapid fire succession. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Shield cannon. Cannon and I hide. Watch as I win because I'm a coward. I should also remember to dash more. Hmm, I think he's getting desperate. Can I? Okay, I could not. I cannot dash through that. Noted. Here, I'll take those, and I'll put a shield up, cause you don't need to be hitting me. And he's decided. He decided to. He decided to pop the self-destruct button. 
Well, this is when you use your fey magic and encapsulate a bubble around him so it implodes upon him instead of outwardly. At that moment, when Erebus's selfishness turned into madness, we were all connected to Robin through the link. The link goes both ways. We could send Robin our strength, but we could also feel the battle through her. That's when the miracle happened. Everybody believed in Robin. Everyone wanted her to win. There were tears in the eyes, in my eyes, as I was connected to everyone else through her. In that moment, she was a real goddess. And she struck the strength with the strength of one. She cast fist! Never doubt the strength of casting fist. Yet that's how the war ended. Everybody lost. The house of Daigadai tried to preserve their way of life. They were shattered. The children of Gaia fought to save life, but the planet was bleeding through the sky and would soon die. It's in moments like this, when everything seems lost, that fate decides to intervene. The crater formed by Robin's final attack, we discovered a network of underground tunnels. Survivors from both sides of the conflict dropped their weapons and ventured inside. We left the surface behind, forever. That's how we discovered the, si the city of Dungeon... Dungeon blah, blah, blah. Wow. When you put two words together, that apparently just throws off my entire groove and gives me dyslexia of some kind, apparently, of Dungeonitis. Forgotten by time. A haven built in the ancient giants, the Hexkari. A city built around a massive life support machine. A true blessing. A home. Thanks to Dungeonitis and the machine, we have energy, oxygen, food, shelter, and a chance at peace. Fourteen years of peace. That's why we thank the Night Witches every day. Thank you, Night Witches. Thank you, Robin, with your infinite might. Well, that's the shortest game ever. No, there's there's definitely more, because that was not even like the, the character that's on the title card. You know that as well as I do, because you saw the title card when you clicked on this video. Robin's Day. Well, that's rude. That's not, you know what? Well, whatever. Oh, thank you for showing me the way. Uh, so hit the options button if I ever get if I ever get lost. Now I could talk to people and get some uh, lore and whatnot, but yeah, I could talk to people and get a little bit of lore. But I think right now what's important is literally just to get through get to like a little bit more gameplay so we can see how the gameplay loop works. Hey, Rain, over here. Are you ready for your surprise? I would like to be surprised today. The deck of Latins look like war golems. What? Oh. Okay. So. <clears throat> I believe it's Japanese style. I could be wrong though. But it's like the floating lanterns start the golems. Okay. Oh. And that blew up. Why did that blow up? Okay. I flipped a switch. Now what? Uh... Well, I have a shot. Okay, so very much stunted powers compared to Robin. Got it.
Okay, well, we're pulling more levers, so... I guess this will get you familiar with, like, how little... Uh... It... Oh! So if I aim... Oh, I get it. So if I aim, I actually can do more damage, but if I feel like dodging is more important, I don't have to aim. Got it. Uh, guess he's, yeah. Well, he's a good sport. Anyway, pull the third lever and everything comes crashing down right about now. Wait, you want me to destroy all of them in that time limit? My aiming, my aiming, like, my aiming with a mouse and keyboard is more steady than, uh, than with a controller. There, I beat his record. And now we can move on. I can't dash. <clears throat> and peace is now over. I can't dash still. Well, just because they history says they were destroyed doesn't mean they're actually destroyed. This is what I mean. My actual aim with a uh, my actual aim with a controller is garbage compared to a mouse and keyboard in this kind of game. But movement is more my movement is more on point in this sense. I think it's probably because like I'm probably because like I this is just a me thing. It's not anything a, a game specifically does. It's that. My brain cannot, in a twin stick shooter like this, my brain will not focus on the two points of interest. It will either focus on what I'm shooting or focus on staying alive. It, I cannot divert my attention. Which doesn't make sense because I can divert my attention between either hand when I'm playing Beat Saber. But that's not here and now. That's another, that's another thing entirely. That wasn't there before. Well, break stuff that... We're gonna we're gonna break things to get there. Uh, this feels like I'm going to the surface. I feel like going to the surface is a bad idea. Eh? Uh. Okay. So a bit of a checkpoint of sorts, just uh. Recover health and I guess mana if that's the case. Okay, I thought I took damage, but I didn't realize I was like bumping up into the clock in the center of town there. I still can't dash. That's really like, that's the thing I actually think it's probably going to get me killed more than anything. But like, that's the thing I think I missed the most from uh, playing the tutorial of this is like being able to dash. Oh well. Beggars, choosers, all, all that jazz. You're lucky a member of the core is here. Ah, I see. There you go. There, everything's dead. Is everybody done with the die? No more die. Dying is not allowed. I gained a... Oh, I get it. So as I save people, I'll level up, which will allow me to do more things. Ugh. 
How do you... True, I guess the war was over, so there's no witches. Alright, later. Stay safe out there. Oh, okay. Thank you for guiding me in the way. So, I wonder how, uh... Yeah, I gotta wonder how, uh... What is it? Like, I gotta wonder, like, how story base this is. Because, like, I'm... I don't even remember what I did ten minutes ago. It's sad, but, like... I'm pretty sure there is, like... There's probably, like, a couple modes for this game. Like, endless mode. Like, an endless... There's probably, like... There's an endless mode, and then this mode that we're doing right now. Or, yeah, an endless mode and a story mode, and we're doing the story mode as we speak. Man, they really just want to hammer home the fact that this is a bullet hell. <laughs> Surprise! It's a bullet hell. Dodge! Okay, that's a beacon. And I'm just going to progress... I'm going to press forward with the story as much as possible, just so we can actually, you know... Get to the meat and potatoes of this whole of this whole game. I thought I was controller her the whole time. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to get them, and then you did story time. Oh, so that beacon that I keep activating that I think is just like a save point to pick back up when you're done, that's actually... Ah. Edit spell, okay. Uh, okay, so a little bit of a... So this is a, a little bit of like a deck builder, I guess, so destroyer. Okay. I kind of want that, actually. Okay, well... I want a couple shockwaves. Like, I feel like I'm going to go mostly destroyer with this. There's no, uh, anything else. Hmm. That's a, that's it feels dangerous. Let's do that. Uh, machine gun. Oh, machine gun. Machine gun Kelly, and a homing shot. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of figured that out during the tutorial. That I could just kind of spam cards. Well. Uh, every witch can manifest in their own training place. Spiritual safe, uh, safe. Okay. Okay. So there's there's training, there's training places at arcane beacons if you need to test out your spell your spell build. Got it. Okay. So there's ways to there's ways to build your deck and test it out. Oh, ambush. Well, thank you. Can I get the can I get the magic? Here, hold that. As long as I have mana, I can do whatever I want. Hey, look, mana. That's a big thing up there. That's a big thing up there. There's a big thing up there. Actually, if I just shoot... Yeah, shoot the bomb. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish I had a dash. I, I still wish I had a dash. I don't need it right now, but I do wish I had a dash. Here, hold that. That was the smartest thing I've done this hour. Trust... You can trust me. What do you mean, cap? Oh, I did nothing. Well, well, blow it up. Holy cow, I'm like really putting myself in a bind. I'm really putting myself in a bind in a cor corner. Literally put myself in a corner. 
finally took damage, by the way. Don't worry, I w the, the, that thought isn't lost to me that I finally took damage. Machine Gun Kelly. This is what I need, something rapid fire so I can kind of just aim in the general direction of the enemy. Like I, like, I mentioned how, like, you know, about how I can't really divert my attention very well between two different things a lot of times. And, like, all I'm doing right now is, like, I'm kind of, like, loot, like, my focus is on the enemy and, like, partially on where my, uh, I forget her name already, Rain. Partially on Rain, where she is, and I'm just kind of, like, triangulating or, like, drawing a, a point between those two and be like, okay, where, where are the point between those two things? And then I just point my controller in that rough direction. Uh... Cannot break. There are there is thing there, but I cannot break. Hmm. Sag. Okay, so I guess I'm going up through this. Uh, going up through here. Oh, infinite mana. Don't mind if I do. Thank you for infinite mana. I will use it. Not in the wisest way at all. It will not be... I will not use this wisely. I will make a problem for me, myself, I, and everybody else involved. Especially Steve over there. Steve's over there trembling. Because I'm about to do something that we'll both regret. Well, I see you magnetize. I was just trying to get the Y symbol. Whatever the heck that the Y symbol is. You know what? Just... Okay, I feel like this is a problem that I'm destroying safeguards. By the way, I just want to point that out. Also, if it, if it does if it isn't a if it doesn't look like it, those uh that or uh, orange not orange uh, purple aura that oh gosh that purple aura that's showing up around those spike traps those are uh, yeah the purple aura that's showing showing up around the spike traps those are. That's that is just pulling me in. Uh Give me some mana. Oh. That worked. Why did that work? Recharge my mana, I guess, and let me do more dumb things. Spell card? No, just more of these green gems, whatever the heck they do. Anyway, I would like some health. Wow, I was actually one hit away from death. That's bad. It doesn't help that, like, this is... Hello? Oh, hey. A thing to open. Thank you. I will take this. It doesn't help that, like, in a lot of games, green is signifies healing. Uh, super, the superhero approach is clearly missing something. Gaius Tears. What is Gaius Tears about? I did I just find like the secret some of the secret lore in the game? Am I finding Easter eggs? Am I am I doing a good job? Uh, this button. Oh, it's still up. Can I go this way? I can go this way. Down is death. So let's just head towards our objective. Hello. Oh. Uh. Night for now, yes, because I'm very bad at games and I'm still learning how this game works. So it wants me to go up, but I cannot go up. Is there? There is a door that goes up, though. Oh, to the castle, to the dungeon. Got it. Found it. Hey, hey, you. Hey, over here. Oh, cool. I'm talking. Cake's killing, selling skeleton. I love these. I love them already. I can actually go for a muffin. A muffin sounds. A muffin actually sounds like it would slap right now. I'm not gonna lie. That's too bad. No one's buying today for some reason. Because everyone's under attack. The underbaker expected us to sell lots of muffins. With it being a Robin's Day and everything. Okay, I'll stop voice acting for the skeleton. Good. Good for you. 
I can make other things as well. I can make you some. I like armor. Would these shards work? Yeah, okay, now we know what the shards do, and the skeleton likes me. <laughs> Here, have a muffin sticker on your map. Oh, I love him. This is a friend. This is this guy, entire friend. Also, I'm gonna, oop, gonna steal some mana. I'm gonna steal some some more gems. I'm gonna. Oh, I. Oh, hey. Ow. This is fine. This is fine. Yep. This is fine. Okay, so I think I'm kind of understanding the scope. So yes, it is a ro it is a roguelite rogue a roguelike roguelite bullet hell game, but it is also an explorative game mostly where you're trying to find people hidden in this huge underground city to power you up as well. Ah, not quite a level up. Now you got my gratitude to go kick their ass. Oh boy, I get to go kick their ass. That was a, that was a fluke, by the way. I didn't even think that was thing. Oh, there's something over there. Well, I could stop and ponder, but let's push. Hello. Hmm. Healing cupcake or ah, a single hit. Well, I do have a hundred. There we go. Perfect. Just a little bit of armor to keep me from death. For a minute longer. I don't think I've acquired... No, I have not acquired any more spells. So this is really all it is. Okay, fair enough. That feels like a long shot. Okay, no, I cannot go that way. So, doors... Yep. I have this thing where it's just like door okay let me go explore wait I, no I can't explore let me go back to door door closes the second I walk past it I have this I have this talent this skill this stupid ability to be at the wrongest place in the wrong hey look ring you I did it I did it I'm the best you know I still don't know what these Y tokens are for I'm pretty sure the game's probably gonna tell me about it boop 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 the fridge. Oh. That's, uh, okay. Also, I don't like how she said mega worms. Why did she say mega worm? Mega worm makes me think that there is a large creature that will be able to eat me. Or I'm going to have to fight it as it eats me. Hold on. Did, do I have a map? 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 I like her little hat. Okay, so I guess maybe I have to go left to go up. That's the only thing I can figure is I have to go left to go up at this point. I wish there. Were, I wish I had the dash. I'm not gonna lie. Like I can't go the way. I cannot go the way that the game is show, uh, showing me, like the direct path. So I do have to go around. Also, give me more of these Y coins. I don't know what they do yet, but I'm gonna collect them. Actually, does it hurt me? No, I'll just take the ride. Slow ride. Not so slow ride, but slow ride. <laughs> Hello, boys. Oh, Hello. Ooh, money. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. You have been thwarted this day by my very basic. Oh my gosh, that's a machine gun time. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm a machine gunner. <laughs> What do you mean, panic? I'm not panicking. You're panicking. I... Okay, yes, I am panicking immensely. Uh, hello? Yeah, I know I have to go that way to get to the market town. Also, I cannot destroy that. Uh... Yep. But, yeah, I cannot go the way the game was is pointing me directly, so I feel like I have to go up and around, because... Is there a quick button for the map, by the way? I feel like the game has told me. Triggers. It's not start. It's not click on, it's... Ah. D-pad, left. Got it. 
I was gonna say, I know the game has probably told me it at some point, but I just didn't remember what that what it was. Here, hold that. Okay, that's not who I wanted to hold that, but sure. This will help greatly in the war. What war? You you mean you don't you don't know of the war? Oh, they don't know the war. They don't know the war. They don't know the war. Again, that my the whole aimy way I'm aiming right now happened, and I like last possible second saw that I was drifting towards these spike traps. Like, hmm, mm, yes, mm, very much deathly. Yes, I could die this way. Mm, yes, lose that. Use my hard earned muffin armor. Yes. Okay, there was a thing down here. I want to see what it is. And I want a dash. Gosh, do I want that dash so bad. Okay. So is this more for these Y coins? Yggdras I'm going to call them Yggdrasil coins. Until the game tells me otherwise, I'm going to call them Yggdrasil coins. And I'm going to make everybody upset. Hello? Forbidden now. Oh. Ooh. I found a cool sword. I feel like if if I do get the opportunity though, next upgrade is definitely going to be a uh, a mana upgrade. Like I'm I'm going to be with that guy that's going to go right down the middle. I'm pretty sure like the most optimal way to play this game is probably full mana build. I'll be honest, but I feel like I'm going to go mana build as I do this. I'm sitting here contemplating contemplating things, and, and I feel like I'm running along. I feel like this actually, though not getting to the actual like plot point yet I feel like we've actually we've actually seen like a good chunk of what this game can do so far and whatnot so I think I will leave this off here so if you folks are curious about the night witch want to know what platforms it's available on how much it will cost you anything of that sort do check the description down below but that's all for me for now Thank you so much for watching this initial reactions, and I hope to see you again when I'll react to a new title for the first time. You folks have a great rest of your day, and take care.